Gilo thought the farmer's answer might hold the solution. The soil moss would be like a cactus and have none or very few stomata on its surface, thereby holding onto the water. That again meant the plant should be slow growing, not fast. It had no central store of water or energy to draw upon for rapid growth. How then was it drawing up the water and other essential nutrients into the tubes? Gala hadn't seen any evidence of a substantial root system. In fact, the outgrowth into the soil had barely enough to hold it in place against a strong wind. Farmer, Gala called out to the worker who started to wander away during his musings. I think I may be near to finding out about the secret to the soil moss, but I have one last question. When clearing the moss, do you ever come across any root for the soil moss that goes more than a little way into the surface of the ground? We do occasionally come across a root that goes a little way down, but it normally snaps off when we're clearing the air and get a puddle of wet soil around where it happened. And I think we found the solution. Gally grinned towards Farmer. I don't suppose that you could show me a spot where one of these roots existed, could you? Certainly. I've even come across one of them now. Farmer led him over to where a wet patch of soil which had recently been cleared. That be one of them, just there. It's the soil all wet. It smells a little, it does. Gally could indeed smell a little faint odour coming up from the soil. He certainly could see that the area had fairly quickly become quite damp. Taking a lightweight collapsible shovel from his backpack, which he then quickly clicked together. Much to the curiosity of Farmer, he then proceeded to dig out the soil in the area where the root had snapped with a recently assembled shovel. You do have some interesting things with you, Farmer said, commenting on the shovel. If you're going to be digging a big hole, I'll go and fetch another shovel. It might not be as fancy as yours, but I'll help you out a little bit. I certainly welcome some assistance. The soil at the top is fairly loose. I think maybe more rocky lower down. I really don't know how far down we're going to need to dig. If you have such a tool as a pick, that may also become useful later, but I'm not sure about it. Gala continued to dig whilst Farmer went back to get more tools. During the digging process, Gala had started to work up a little sweat. It was actually a little relieved at having a physical task to relieve some of the stresses that had been building up in recently. He was now fairly sure he knew how the soil moss grew. It's almost certain that it had an underground tuber, rhizome, or some similar structure storing all the water and nutrients to enable fast growth and yet protect the food store from grazing. What he or the forsaken could then do about the object was another matter. Certainly, he was just focused on proving his theory correct. As he got down to a reasonable depth, he started to strike large stones and rocks in his path. He now noticed that Farmer had returned with some friends, now seemed eager and come equipped to do the job. 